Don't start the presentation, Maury. Can't be stopped. I'm going to do a little crowd pleaser first. This just in. I wanted to share with you guys some statistics of the impact that you have had today as we've measured it. This is fresh in from Karen Antarecker on our team. Today on the social media sphere, Google+, Facebook, Twitter, etc., we've had over 2,200 social media mentions. The Twitter coverage has reached approximately 5 million unique followers. Wow. You guys have helped us get the word out to 5 million people today. That's incredible. 40% of the coverage today from all of the automakers was about Ford. And you saw oh. all the automakers there. <laughs> all right? Chrysler was at 18%. GM was at 15%. We are clearly leading the pack thanks to you guys. Woo! the really exciting part. Share of voice for Fusion among its competitive segment. You know those cars that we talked about uh, in the press presentation? Normally is about 9.5%. That was the average throughout the whole year. 9.5%. You guys scored us a share of voice of 58.5% today. Wow. 70% 70% of the coverage coming out of NIAS today was Ford related during our press conference this morning. So absolutely amazing that you guys have come together and have shared your own unique opinions about Ford. We're not telling you what to say in any way. And we think it's absolutely exciting that the people that you're reaching, the people that trust you, are listening to what you're having to say. So thank you very much from the bottom of all of our hearts for making this happen. And now for a complete flame out. <laughs> because let me just tell you, I finished this presentation a half an hour before the dinner. So I've had no chance to rehearse it whatsoever and <coughs> bear with me. So I have an interest in this character, Sherlock Holmes. And over time I've realized that the character has actually taught me a lot about social media and has helped me become a better practitioner. As a matter of fact, I started a blog in 2005 specifically about Sherlock Holmes. So you know the character. But do you really know the character? You know, he never wore that hat. He never said that very famous phrase, elementary, my dear Watson. Watson himself wasn't a bumbler like he was in the movies. There's a whole subculture of people, particularly led by the Baker Street Irregulars, that follow this. There are 400 societies around the world dedicated to Sherlock Holmes. This is something that we all share because it's, it's like a social network. We all have this one thing in common. So, in terms of how this fits into social media, a lot of you who understand blogs and Twitter and whatever, you're better off than a lot of other people, a lot of executives, a lot of people who don't live and breathe in this thing. And Holmes himself said that it's his business to know what other people don't know. Now, of course, speaking of don't know, our legal department, um, they tend to be hot on our trail, uh, but we tend to be a little bit ahead of them. We try to do what's right always, but it doesn't always fit. But they're partners with us, absolutely. We always know that we have to keep learning in this. It's a constant game, that whether we're going to conferences or attending webinars or reading any of your blogs, for example, to learn more about how this practice is evolving. Transparency. Transparency is key in social media. We need to tell people what our ultimate motives are, who it is that's behind the account, what it is we're trying to do. Holmes himself believed that it was okay to be transparent from time to time. And a lot of times, rather than talking, we just simply need to listen. We need to take stock in what everybody is saying about us, about our competitors, etc. We need to take that time to use two ears and one mouth. And then sometimes we need to realize that we can't go it alone. Holmes had the Baker Street Irregulars, these street urchins, to go out and overhear and oversee and discover things that he couldn't be out there to see himself. So we need that help from time to time, too. Then, of course, there's always things that don't happen. Sometimes it's the absence of activity that actually makes us sit up and take notice. But we need to look at trends like Cheryl was talking about and make decisions based on what we are or are not observing. And then when we do observe, it's absolutely important for us to understand measurement, ROI, the data behind social media that drives these conversations, that drives the decision making. Ultimately, this is from uh, the adventure of the dancing man, Holmes Cracked a Code. 
It's important to create discoverable content. SEO is your friend. Search engine optimization. It's one of the basics, one of the basic building blocks behind social media that not a lot of people remember. Crisis management. A lot of times things happen that are out of our control. We have to be ready to go at a moment's notice. And that means sometimes uh, enacting the whole team to respond or just a, a key uh, core member of teams. Uh, Samuel Johnson had uh, Boswell writing his biography. Of course, Holmes had Watson writing his stories up in the Strand Magazine. And now in the BBC series, we've got Dr. Watson who writes a blog. Blogging is important. Storytelling is important. And of course, blogger relations, right? That's why we have you guys here. It's why we reach out to bloggers to help them tell our story, not just for our story to be told by ourselves. And ultimately, we have to be strategic about what we do. We have to have a plan. Because a lot of times we have to respond no matter how things go. And without a plan, we'll be lost. What's really important as well, as you saw from this whole exercise over the last day or so, is having great support staff, great support teams, agencies, uh, people in the community. It's important to have people to help you get to where you need to go. I think Holmes would have been absolutely phenomenal on tour. Maury, can you pause it on this? I just want this uh, to soak in for people. Um, he said, nothing is so important as trifles. And Twitter gets overlooked an awful lot by people who kind of poo-poo it. Um, these are kind of lame, I realize, but um, the, the fact of the matter is he probably would have used Twitter if he could as well. Go ahead, Maury. Thanks. I know the sound guy. Um, so anyway, <laughs> over the course of my career, I've been able to build a blog, a podcast, a social network, and ultimately to use personality and humor in some of the things I do. And if you have a hobby and a passion, you probably can too. <laughs>